Hey farmers, Farmerman here. Welcome back to Lone Oak Farm. We have completed the uh, power food making process. We have got our little visor building here full of power food. Holy buckets. Look at that. We've got mountains of power food here, man. That is awesome. Awesome. Uh, we got the pecan returned back to uh, Manning's. That uh, has been has been nice. It's it's been it's been good. I tell you what, that that came in handy. So we got our auger set up here. We're all ready to uh, to uh, load power food when we need it. Uh, cows are good at the moment. Uh, Susie cream cheese is out there on our new field uh, doing the plowing. We did get the uh, slurry spreading all wrapped up. That went pretty well. We used uh, pretty much everything that we had. So that's not too shabby. Now. What I did have is about, let's see, 70, 80, 97,000 liters left of um, silage. And uh, I was kind of contemplating what to do. I could have made more power food, but our shed's kind of full there. And I didn't want to stuff any more in there. So I'm thinking, I got it loaded up here. I think it's loaded up. Uh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, it's all loaded up. So there's 70,000 liters on the trailer. And then I think there's 27, 22 something thousand liters left in here to go what I'm kind of thinking about doing is taking this down to the BGA and selling it and see if we can make just a little bit of money you know nothing wrong at that make a little bit of money um, and have a shot at that so let's do that while uh, we still have daylight here the evening is not yet upon us let's see I want to make sure I get the trailer tipped in the right spot there so it kind of comes up there you go okie dokie then Let's take, head off to the BGA, and then we'll sell this. We'll come back. We'll get that other 27,000 liters in there. We can use the telehandler with our new bucket, and we can uh, load this up, and that'll be cleaned out, ready for uh, chaff to be put in there again for the uh, next silage. So that's pretty good. It'll be interesting to see um, how much uh, power food we go through until um, for the year here. Um, We'll have to kind of keep that in mind to see how much we need. But I, I think, man, that power food's going to last us quite a bit, I think. Quite a bit, a long time. Um, other than that, let's see. Susie Cream Cheese is out there plowing the new field. Um, she's going to plow that half, and then we'll plow these two together. And I am hopefully, hopefully, going to start planting soybeans in there um, yet this evening. That is kind of my plan. Uh, everything in the pigs is good. Sheep are good. Cows are good. Life is good. Life is good here on Lone Oak Farm. Uh, poplars are growing. Look at that. That is a beautiful poplar field. Um, we still have to get field 8 and 11. Have to get that seeded for um, Ian and Sons. Once we do that, then we can receive our $25,000 uh, contract payment. So that'll be pretty That'll be pretty snazzy. Um, that'll add to the coppers here just a little bit. Um, no traffic there. No traffic there. Kind of quiet around here. Uh, very quiet here on the roads tonight. That's okay. I don't got to worry about running into anybody and don't have to worry about anybody running into me. You know what I mean, Vern? Uh, so that's all good. That is all good. These poor farmers with their withered crops, man, I really feel bad for them. I really do. It's a sad, sad sight. Hopefully they get some relief to that in insurance purposes, but uh, that would be nice. That would be nice. You know, and to be honest with you, now that I think about it, um, I'm not even sure I can dump into the BGA. I'm pretty sure. I know I can do bales and stuff, but um, the tipper? I'm not quite sure. I am not quite sure. Well, we'll give it a shot here. That's all we can do. We'll just give it a shot. Um, pull in down here. And we'll back up to the digester. And we'll see how it goes. We should make some decent... I mean, it's not... You know, we're not going to make millions of dollars here. Uh, but we should make decent money, I would think, off of this. Why wouldn't we? I never did check the silage price. But it's not going to matter any because um, I want to get the bunker cleaned out anyway. So I would sell it no matter what the price is going to be. Um, okay, there we go. Let's just check what the price is. Uh, oh, animals are good. Okay. Uh, the price, the price of silage right now is, oh, look at that, 237, 245 at the barn, well, we can't dump it at the barn, 237, um, what were we getting when we were selling silage at the BGA last fall, I think we only got like 250 something, didn't we, 
the other thing I want to know, how much, uh, I gotta turn my help window on here, how much, uh, digestate, where am I, what am I doing? How much digestate do I have in here? 182,000 liters, holy buckets. Um, that's not too shabby, we could really, uh, take advantage of that too. We haven't had to touch that yet, but we could take advantage of that. Um, uh, I wonder what digestate is going for. Now, that's one thing I've never done. I have never sold, because it's not slurry, slurry 31, it's not slurry, um, that I don't know. I don't even know if you can. Um, okay. Let's see, 44,000. Let's dump this in there. And we will see what we come up with. Well, there's 54. That's 10,000. Um, what? No more capacity over crying out loud. Um, I know they didn't have time sped up <laughs> as fast. Only at, still at five times. We'll wait. Give it a second here. So that was 13,691 for that part. Now I bet it dropped down. No, it hasn't dropped yet. Um, 13,691. That's not too shabby. That's not too shabby. Well, we'll only get another maybe 1,000. 2000 Ooh, what's that? $15,000 for that load. That's not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Well, let's head back to the farm. We'll get the conveyors emptied out. And uh, whatever's left, we'll get the telehandler. And we will um, load the rest of that in here. Get the bunker cleaned up, ready to go. And uh, then we'll have to go out and get some... Um, some soybeans in the ground. Sounds like a good plan to me, Stan. Easy there. Stay in your lane there, buddy. Stay in your lane, man. Okie dokie. Let's just see what this runs out to be at here. And then we'll go get the uh, telehandler. And finish cleaning this out. The conveyors, I don't know where I should put them. Perhaps I could put them in here for a little while. It's going to be a while since I use them again. Um, yeah, we could probably put them in here. That'd be a good spot for them. Uh, maybe right back there in the corner. Okie dokie. Let's get the telehandler here. I think I still have the uh, bucket on there. Yep. Boy, this thing's a fine machine. I, I love this thing. I absolutely love it. You know what I thought about? Could I just use this thing and just uh, go up underneath the conveyor and fill it? I probably could. Um, is that it? Has my augers run dry? Yes, they have. Okay, let's get the semi out of the way. We'll get the augers out of the way here. I'll still have quite a bit in here. Um, I suppose we could just uh, dry the auger over there. Let's see. Fold it in. I suppose I could just keep moving the augers around, but we'll just use the bucket. That'll be a piece of cake. Other way. Come on there, auger. Not not the fastest moving, uh, or I keep saying auger, it's actually a conveyor, a belt conveyor. Um, not the fastest moving conveyor in the world, but uh, we'll get there eventually. We will get there eventually. I hear, I hear the Jeopardy theme song, game show song in my head at the moment. You know, the other thing I was thinking of, uh, now that I, I can mention it here while we're just driving these things in here, the um, mixer wagon. The uh, mixer wagon that we do have, the uh, Silo King. Um, I was thinking to myself, do we really need that anymore? I mean, to be honest with you, I bet that's the best I'm going to get it just because it's going to be, yeah, we'll leave it there. 
Um, I, like I like I like I have a lot of things that need to be parked in here. Um, the silo king, the mi mixture wagon, I do have. Do I really need that anymore? Um, and I'm kind of thinking the answer to that is no, not really. Um, I don't. Um, just for the fact that uh, um, I have plenty of power food in storage, and I'm thinking. You know, next time I do that, I'm just going to rent the pecan again and make a bunch at one at one go when it gets to be a little empty, and I have more silage on the go, and I have um, uh, hay bales and straw bales to use. So I'm kind of whoa, whoa, where are you going there, buddy? I'm out of the bunker now. I can kind of put that thing up. It shouldn't um, it shouldn't grab it that far away. But yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I mean, I might as well just get rid of it and then uh, be good to go. Um, instead of having to make power food just every little bit, I can just sell that thing. And it'd be interesting to see what I could get for it, because if I could sell it uh, and get a decent amount of money, that would at least cover the, um, the leasing cost on the uh, pecan. The pecan? Pecan? Oh, uh, well, pecan's a nut. Pecan. Pecan. Uh, cover the uh, co the leasing costs on that. So, yeah, there we go. That's good enough. So I don't think that I need it. I think I will probably uh, take it up to the dealership and uh, see if I can part with it. Uh, one less thing to maintain and have expense on. Okie dokie. Let's get this thing cleaned up here. Whoa, easy there. You know, maybe a guy should invest in a payload or a wheel loader. I am kind of causing all kinds of trouble here. Um, okay, that's full. I think I had, what, 8,000 in there? 19, so there shouldn't be much more in here. Shouldn't be much more in here at all. One more little scoop, not even a full scoop, should take care of it. I think I got the weight on the back of this thing. Good thing for that. Uh, Don't tell me you're going to be stuck there. I don't want to hear that. That wouldn't be good. Get a little stuff frozen in here. That'd be bad. Oh, come on. You are. You're stuck on the wall. How much... Um, how much do we have left? <laughs> 663 liters. Oh, you stupid, stupid, stupid thing. Um, boy, did my sweeper, do I still have my sweeper? I bet I sold my sweeper too, didn't I? Um, we might have to uh, lease something. And, uh, yeah, that's frozen on there. Crap. Okay, we'll have to uh, get a sweeper or something in here. And we'll get that taken care of. Nothing I can do about that at the moment. Um, let's see. In the meantime, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this load back down to the BJ. I'm going to sell it. And then um, we'll have to get a sweeper or something and do that. But then I will see you back down here at the farm. And we'll see how far Susie Cream Cheese has gotten. If not, then, uh, you know, I want to use the uh, horse planter. Um, because that will fertilize as it seeds. So I want to use that puppy, and then we can um, get some soybeans in the ground and see how that goes. So I will see you back here in just a little bit.
Got that all washed up. Got the trailer washed up, put away. That's all good. You know what? I was thinking about it. Um, it's getting kind of late. Um, the plowing continues. And then I do still want to get these two fields combined and maybe do some work on the edges. Boy, that's a beautiful sunset. That is an absolutely beautiful sunset. Whoa, boy, that's bright. Red sky at night, sailor's delight, they say. So I think we're going to hold off on the planting. I kind of wanted to get one planted now, but I think we'll just end up waiting here. Um, we'll wait till Susie Cream Cheese gets uh, a good portion of that done, and then we'll get these two combined, and we can start that process right away tomorrow morning. But, yeah, so maybe I'll go in, maybe have myself a cold one, relax, put on a little Netflix, take it easy, and uh, be rested for tomorrow morning. So we will see you all bright and in, br bright, bright and early tomorrow morning. Boy, look at that. Beautiful. I love coming here. I do. It is an absolute beautiful house. Love it. Get the door shut. Look at that. Farming simulator is up on the TV screen. Awesome. Awesome, awesome stuff. So we'll relax, chill out, have a cold one, and uh, we will see you in the morning. Good morning, friends. Yeah, it's a busy morning. Holy buckets. Not even 7.30, and I have been busy for at least a couple hours now. Down at the uh, Mannings here, I was just doing some paperwork. I had to do some uh, some contract work, and uh, I had to pay for something. I bought something for the farm uh, that I have out back here that uh, the boys here went and got from the warehouse. So I'm going to use that. Um, let's see, what else is going on? Susie Cream Cheese is out planting corn on field 42. Yes, matter of fact, 42. Um, looking at the uh, planting calendar, there you can see we are ready to go. Full bore for soybeans and corn. So we are off getting that done already. Uh, <laughs> Happy at Happy Savage Farm is having a little late start. He is out, out planting wheat at the moment. Um, I have to bring him a pallet of seed because he has a... Uh, I think he has a date or something. I don't know. Said he had to be gone for a couple hours if I could uh, help him out. So that's what I have to do for him. But with that said, uh, yes. Whoops, I ran into the wall. That was absolutely, that hurt my head. Um, Susie Cream Cheese, like I said, is out planting corn on 42 with the big bud and the Great Plains Cedar. I have the T8 down here at the store. This is what I purchased. I purchased a Flegel water, bar water barrel. Because I'm thinking about it, you know, I'm hauling water all over the place. Um, driving to the pond it gets to be a little bit hectic. So I thought I'm going to get this. Fill this puppy up and then I can just deliver water to... Um, each farm and each water container. So I have that sitting here and I'm going to go down to the sheep farm and I am going to pick up the um, hook lift trailer. I uh, just take off the uh, wood chipper and use that. I do have also the silo king up here. The boys were just looking it over to make sure everything was fine and dandy. I have a little ad out for that so I think I have a buyer for that. So they'll come up and uh, take a look at that and see what they think. But with that said, what I need to do first of all is I need to get down to the sheep farm. So we'll fire up the TH. Oh boy, I'm low on fuel too. I can fill up down there. Um, get down to the sheep farm. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to borrow the little tractor. Come up here, get this get this pallet of seed for Happy and bring it down to him. Um, the tractor, the shop tractor is out on a uh, service call at the moment. So I couldn't use that. Uh, but that's okay. I got to go down to the sheep farm anyways and get the uh, hook lift trailer for the uh, water container there. So that'll be good. Um, other than that, things are looking pretty up this morning. We had some rain overnight um, and into the early morning hours, but the sun is out and it is all dried up. So we have been busy planting. Got to get all the crops in the ground now. I think today is going to be the day for that. Uh, let's just turn in here. here. I think... Uh, Susie Cream Cheese had the uh, sheep all taken care of early this morning, so I don't think I have anything to do with that. There was another pallet of wool that we produced, so that has been uh, put away, as I have been told. So that would be two pallets of wool so far. That's not too shabby at all. Not too shabby. Looking at the books this morning, boy, I would like to get some more cows in the farm. We're going to expand this dairy operation, but uh, money-wise, we're just going to need to wait for some income tomorrow. Tomorrow, matter of fact, should be the day. Should be the day for soybean selling. 
1100 at Agri XJS. We only have 98,000. I was thinking that we had more more than that, but that's all we have is 98,000. Um, at the uh, futures prices, let's go over there for soybeans. Tomorrow should be the day. Tomorrow should be the day. The first day of summer. We could probably part with those. Um, that'll be good. Anyways, let's... Um, hmm, yeah. I'm going to hop into here. And uh, this is going to be a nice... Nice slow drive. What's that? Slow ride. No, I don't even know the name of that song. Whoops. Watch out for the wall there. I, it's been a long time since I've been in the old uh, Massey Ferguson. Dandy of a tractor, though. Absolute dandy of a tractor. We'll head up to the store. We'll get that pallet for Happy. And we'll bring it down to him. Uh, he might be even be gone yet already this morning. I don't know. Do you have a breakfast date? Or I don't know what the heck's going on there. But anyways, we'll get that down to him. So, uh, you know what? Maybe while we bring the pallet down there, we could even take a little cruise. And that little, um, I think he's using the Hurleyman. And the Hessia Cedar that we bought. I could even try that out for a little bit. That would be kind of nice. I could do that. Um, not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. But uh, this is going to be a yeah, slow ride. Um, I will get that pallet and I will head down to Happy's here. Happy, happy, Happy's Hobby Farm. And we'll get that up and running again. into Happy's Happy Farm here. We'll, uh, we'll go into the back here. I think he's on that first field over there. We'll go um, fill that planter up. Maybe we'll give it a little shot. I think we should. I think we should try it out and see how good it works there. Um, kind of a dandy, dandy little uh, cedar. I like it. I like it. Happy, you gotta spray some weeds here, man. You're getting some weed growth in here. That's not good. Our grass has not come up yet. Um, it should though. I bet by tomorrow we'll see we'll see some growth in our grass there. That'll be pretty nice. Oop, easy there, pallet. Don't fall off there. Yeah, we gotta get some gotta get some herbicide down here. Oh look at that, he's going there. Oh okay, there he is. Um we'll just come up here. We'll fill this puppy up. Let's see. And then, I think I might as well just leave the pallet down here for him. But then again, how is he going to fill it up? Um, did I get it full? I must have got that thing full already. Look at that. Already full. Um, not too shabby. Not too shabby. Maybe I should just leave the loader... And the pallet here for him to keep filling up. Um, maybe I should. I'll have to call the boys up at the dealership and get a ride up there uh, back to the tractor. But I can do that. Uh, let's see. Let's hop into this puppy. Close the cover there. There we go. We'll turn her on there. Let's see. How does that? How does this work? I got to find the right things here. Uh, we'll just set that down. There we go. Now we're planting. Look at that. Oh boy, this is nice. I like this thing. I like this. Getting some wheat in the ground. A little late there, Happy. But uh, getting wheat in the ground, that's for sure. Uh, that's kind of nice. I like that. This is a dandy little thing. You know, it cruises right along here. Look at that. 12 miles an hour we can plant wheat with this little uh, Hurleyman. Is it a Hurleyman? Yeah, Hurleyman and the uh, Hesia Cedar. Nice. I like it. No problems here whatsoever. No problems. Let's see. We'll do another pass here. I just wanted to try this thing out. There we go. That's nice. Not the straightest. Uh, good thing we're not planting a row crop here because we certainly have not straight. Um, that's nice looking. That is nice looking stuff there. Um, I like it. I like it a lot. Very, very cool. We'll just finish the row here, and then uh, we'll get turned around. Boy, that's kind of nice. I know. I suppose I could finish this up for him, but I got all, I got all kinds of stuff to do. I don't have time to be messing around here. Um, there we go. We'll just get lined up for the next row here. 
Whoa! Holy fuck, as that thing turns pretty fancy there. Gotta be careful, the cedar kind of almost touches the ground there when you hit a little bump. Um, right there. We'll be ready to go again. Okay. That's good, Happy. You're all set to go again. You can continue on with the wheat planting. I'll make a phone call. I'm going to get a ride back up to the shop. Uh, that'd be good because that pallet and loader can stay there for Happy. We can get that later. But, uh, yeah. We'll see you back up the shop here in just a little bit. What a dandy tractor. Dandy tractor. Got back up to the sheep farm. Got a little ride here. That was okay. I did a little bit more uh, seeding for Happy as I was waiting for my ride. But, let's see. Let's get back in the T8 here. Let's um, go get that hook lift trailer. And we will head back up to the dealership and get that water container. I think the Ray Bod wood chipper. I am just going to leave in the woods there next to the silo. Next to the wood chip silo that we had installed. I think that will be just a fine place to leave it. Um, summertime. Doesn't need to be stored inside. We probably should have probably stored it uh, during the wintertime. But um, that will be okay. Uh, I got a phone call from, uh, or on, on the radio here. Susie Cream Cheese has finished planting on field 42, so that is absolutely awesome. Uh, has moved on to the next cornfield, which, uh, 45. 45. We're going to start planting corn on 45. This would be the third and last cornfield right here. Uh, I don't know if we'll get that done today or not. I would like to get all these uh, fields planted so far, but, um, We'll just have to go with it. Everything else is ready to be planted. Uh, I got to get busy here. The reason that I'm doing all this stuff now is I got to get busy. I got to get this hooked up to the other planter and get the uh, soybeans in the ground. So that's kind of what I am uh, doing here. But I wanted to get this uh, job done and uh, get water to all the uh, places that need water. And we'll be good to go there. Let's see, where is it now? Let's just hook up to it right here. Whoa! I didn't park this in a very good spot, did I? No, I didn't. Um, there we go. So we'll just back this. I think I'm just going to leave it right about here. Unload it right about here. That'll be good. All I room there? Well, I'm kind of on the road there. Um... Let's see, where else can I put it? Maybe, well, you know what? Right here should be just fine. Um, I could just kind of back it up. Hit the fence there. Um, watch out for the tree there, man. I'm just going to stick it right next door here. That'll work pretty good. Right about there. That'll work. Oh! I don't know, the load's kind of bumpy there. Just pull forward a little bit. There. That's a good spot for it. Well, actually, the other one, that thing can just stay down. Uh, okay, now we got this. Let's head back to the shop. We'll hook up to our water barrel. And then... Um, I think we have to bring water right back down here to the sheep. Um, and then we'll go to the pig farm. And then back to the main farm. And our water deliveries will be... Oh, we have to get water first. Oh, crap. Forgot about that. Um, yeah, we'll have to go down to the pond and fill that up with the pumps down there. And then... Um, yeah. I wonder if I need to get water done today. I could just uh, pick it up. Uh, fill it up with water and leave it at the farm and maybe go do some seeding and then uh, I don't think I need water yet today. Let's just double check here. Oh, I think um, Farmer Mondo told me the uh, the fruit trees need water. Well, I'll tell you what I can do. Well, let's see. Well, I wonder if the T6 would pull this thing in the water barrel. Maybe not. Um, we can try it. Otherwise, I can go pick it up and then leave it down at the farm and maybe he and the T6 can try it. I don't know if there's enough horsepower to uh, do it. But, um, we'll see. So let's get to the dealership. We'll pick this up. And then get back to the farm. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start planting fields uh, 35 and 30. I'm going to plant that first of soybeans. And then, um, then we'll move on from there.
pretty quiet around here. Pretty quiet. I bet everybody, all the local farmers are probably in the field uh, busy uh, with planting and stuff like that, I would suppose. Um, but so far, it's been pretty good. No major calls for breakdowns, no uh, on site repairs. So that's pretty good. go we'll load that puppy up okay oh I forgot to get fuel too okay I'm gonna get this back to the farm I'm gonna get it full of water and then uh, then we'll probably yeah we'll probably just go out and do some planting we'll get that underway um, I don't think water would be that detrimental uh, farmer mono like I said can take a look at it and see what he thinks um, maybe he could maybe the t6 can do it but anyways we'll see you back at the farm here in uh, just a jiffy I got that full of water. You know, uh, the pond seems lower to me. The pond seems lower than usual. I wonder how Farmer Manu and James are liking the cabin. I bet you they like it. Uh, it's a nanny of a cabin. Uh, I am going to drop this off. Farmer Manu is going to give it a shot to see if he can get the T6. Uh, well, the T5. The T5 at the pig farm. I don't think that would do it. Uh, but I'm going to leave it up here. i got to put fuel in this tractor. And then I need to hook up to the uh, planter. The other one and get that going here um, let's see where should we leave this thing um, tell you what we'll just leave it right here in the main yard uh, he should be able to find it you never know you never know but I have I have faith he'll find it if not James will point it out to him James holy buckets do you see that a squirrel man a squirrel came running out there behind the bins I almost hit it um, Let's see. We'll just drop that off there. Um, let's see. Hook up to the planter here. I wonder how much seed I have. I think I got a pallet over there. That's it. Oh boy. Um, I think I have some in my uh, in my seed bins. We'll have to check. Um, oh. I got some in there. Let's get that uh, right there. Oh, okay. So we already have soybean seed in there already. That'll be good. Now that's set to go. Oh, fuel for the tractor. Let's get some fuel in the tractor here. Uh, that's a nice barrel. I like that. That's going to work out dandy, I think. Um, just dandy, a dandy idea. So we'll fill the tractor up. Uh, have my lights on? There we go. Um, let that fill up there. You know, I'm a big, I'm, I love this thing. I'm, I'm a big fan of this uh, power food uh, visor storage here we did. That's going to be nice. I moved it over a little bit and went that way with it so I could get the, just scoop, you know, just a little tractor, the bucket. I could come in there and scoop some up if I need it. And then if the trailer, that'll work just dandy there. Uh, that'll work dandy. Let's just check on the animals real quick. I think everything's okay. Yep, look at that. Top notch. Top notch. Uh, boy, look at that. The sheep are producing uh, every 6 hours and 27 minutes. I think we brought in 98, right? So we've had uh, 17, what do they call young sheep? I don't know, baby sheep? We had 17 baby sheep. Um, I think we had 24 pigs. So we had 4 pigs. 25 hours, man. Um, and the cows still have not uh, gone to the... Uh, reproductive state but look at that uh, the pig manure we have 787 liters that was empty and the cows now we have 20,000 and that was empty from when we were spreading slurry so that's okay let's see this thing should be full yeah we're good to go okie dokie boy that was expensive 619 bucks holy smokes um, let's see how are we gonna plant this puppy I want to make a headland probably right about here um, yeah, right about here I want to make a headland. Um, that should be good there. Let's see. Soybeans fire this puppy up. And we'll be ready to go. Getting soybeans in the ground. Year two. What a wonderful thing. Absolutely wonderful thing. Um, gotta love it. Gotta love it. I'm probably over there a little bit, ain't I? Yep. That was not very good driving of me. And 
Not very good driving of me at all. Don't want to run over that guy's field. Actually, it wouldn't hurt anything. Uh, but as a neighborly thing to do, you know, we don't try to drive on neighbors' fields. That's not very good. Oh, look at that. That was darn near perfect there. Darn near perfect. We will cruise right along, my man. Cruise right along. is going well it is going well I am a big fan of this uh, cedar and I'm a big fan of the tractor matter of fact I'm a big fan of everything here on the farm but I'm getting the soybeans in the ground the uh, ring around the edge worked out pretty good got some headlands in now I am just um, getting things going back and forth so Danny it's working like a charm I tell you it is working like a charm uh, Susie cream cheese has uh, I don't know, I don't think she's done. I think she's finishing up some edges around there. So that would be, that's that's pretty good. That would be uh, two corn fields in the ground already. I'm gonna get this soybean field in the ground and uh, we should be uh, ready to go here. Um, I don't know how many fields we're gonna get planted today, but got a darn good start, I tell you, a darn good start. Um, pretty snazzy if you ask me, pretty darn snazzy. Um, I think we'll leave it there for today. I am going to wrap up this field here, get the soybeans in the ground in this field. Susie Cream Cheese should wrap up the other one over there, just to the south of the farmyard. Uh, when we come back, well, I'll meet you. I'll probably have this field just about wrapped up, and uh, we'll see what else the uh, day progresses, see what time it gets to be when I finish this field here. But uh, so far, so good, I tell you. So far, so good. Thanks for joining us today. I sincerely appreciate that. If you happen to like the video, give us a like. That'd be awesome. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, consider doing that as well. You have absolutely nothing to lose. But as the soybean planting continues here on Lone Oak Farm, Farmer Min telling you, have yourself a great day and keep me between the ditches. So long.